Welcome to our latest episode of the PDF at Work podcast presented by Foxit. Today, we will talk about e-signing and what Foxit's perspective is on it. Yes, e-signing. My guest today is a very knowledgeable expert in e-signing. Mahinder Bist is founder and CEO of AccountSite, the company that created the e-sign genie platform. And Mahinder at the same time is heading the e-signature initiatives uh, and efforts at Foxit from now on. Welcome Mahinder, thanks for joining. Thank you very much, thanks for having me. Why don't you introduce yourself a little bit Mahinder and give us some background on who you are and what you do. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, first of all, um, my background, I've been, how I started is quite different from a lot of Silicon Valley founders. Uh, my, I was a marine engineer before, uh, so uh, I spent uh, a lot of years uh, working on out at sea as a marine engineer. Uh, and, uh, and, and then I, uh, after my MBA uh, uh, program, uh, uh, in, and moved over to the software industry and uh, started with large companies like uh, Oracle and, and, and in that area, I consulted um, IDF solution to many, many large enterprises and my focus became solution. And I've always been interested in solution architecture and that's how I founded uh, East Nigeria, founded, um, you know, there's definitely a need out there. So I found, uh, uh, you know, I started East Nigeria. And something, uh, about my background, like you know what uh, you know, things have changed drastically over the years, and and particularly last year we made a move to uh, Huntington Beach, which is uh, you know, oh, nice. uh, so so my uh, uh, you know affinity to sea, as you can see, my start of the career has been linked to the sea, so my affinity towards sea, and I I, I love absolutely like you know being by the by the seaside, and walking, and an occasional wine on the, over the weekend, um, you know that's that's uh, the hobby apart from. Uh, really, e-signature is um, is a way of life right now. So you actually have two hobbies: e-signature and going to the beach in Hunting Beach. Beautiful area over there. I've been there before, and all the surfers there, sunny. That's how you that's how you imagine California when you're not from California. Great. Okay. Yeah, city. Yeah. So today we're talking about e-signing, um, as you just mentioned. And uh, why don't we start that a little bit talking about uh, the company you founded. Um, so what is what is um, e-sign genie uh, doing? Tell us a little bit uh, about that, especially as our listeners might already know, now that Foxit acquired uh, your company e-sign genie and is integrating it. Yeah. So e signed formed um, in 2014. Um, so the, the purpose behind, you know, the goal behind was, uh, was to, you know, give uh, uh, thousands of companies, millions of companies, millions of users, basically the tool um, to become more productive in, in e-signature. Obviously there were many e-signature solutions in 2014 already. However, I, I, after using a few of them, the leading ones, and I said, okay, there's definitely, we could do better than this, right? And that's how uh, eSignGini got started. And now always the focus has been like, you know, what we can give to the customers, what special things we can do to, for our customers. And that's been my whole focus entire career, whether it was consulting and then uh, when I launched my own products. Uh, now, of course, since then we, we've grown significantly um, and eSignGini is doing great. And we can you can see it all around. Um, and now we have grown to you know employees tend to about uh, fifty two people and and growing and uh, and especially now with Foxit coming into uh, into play, the growth um, you know seems to have accelerated even further. Um, as far as um, so so I, I want to give you a little bit about like you know background more than just the company because at this point we have significant number of customers. That, um, you know we. We have about uh, over, uh, getting to over 5,000 customers at the moment, and, and we do have um, all different type of names. Um, so, uh, you know, right from, uh, you know, uh, uh, the large enterprises, you know, typically companies use their large enterprise names, and we do have many of them like VMware, like in the, in the 
in the healthcare space, which we actually is one of the, one of the core, core areas for us. Uh, we have companies um, like, uh, um, you, you know, uh, Omicel, uh, uh, books we have, some of the large companies, but we have many, many, many small to mid-sized providers as well. Uh, and but we have many banks, a uh, um, lot of community banks, some uh, mid-sized banks uh, with us. Uh, so the area that can be, we actually have across the spectrum, but our star companies uh, truly, uh, we, we love those companies are the SaaS companies which are integrating with us. And those are, and, and um, those are really, really uh, for us uh, the star companies because our APIs are robust and, and we, we love producing by means of API. So our API has uh, in some, some ways has more capabilities than our, our user interface has. And, and that's uh, phenomenal because our user interface has more capabilities than most software out in the market. So our, our signature and the workflows are very robust. But just want to give you a landscape, just a high level, uh, but anywhere from small size to all, all the large size companies are there in our world. Fantastic. And I guess that uh, last time uh, with the pandemic going on and everything else, uh, your, your uh, business must have been must have been uh, growing even faster, right? Yeah, that, uh, you know, um, that, has, the, the, that was a sudden change and it's, it's really changed the, the world as you know it. Like, you know, it's been, uh, it's been tough, uh, but at the same time, you know, people are resilient. Uh, businesses are resilient and they find different ways. And e-signature came out to be the natural way to, to sign contact and continue doing business um, as usual. Uh, yeah. So it has been a great boom for um, a, a great a great boom for the business. Uh, however, uh, we still continue to find different ways to innovate and reach out to customers and make them. You know, it's, it's important to make sure the customers who have not transitioned yet. I mean, make them ready for transition. Make it easier for them to transition. Yeah. This post pandemic. Yeah, the good old uh, paper left office idea, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you for, for introducing a little bit the um, Saint Genie company to us. We'll definitely talk about the product a little more uh, later. But uh, before we go there, I would um, like to ask you that now that um, Foxit acquired e Saint Genie, um, what, what's the strategy behind that from, from your perspective? Yeah, so I mean, if you, um, I'll, I'll give you a perspective I understand. Foxit perspective and, and our perspective, right? Sure. Um, so Foxit, uh, you know, is a is a PDF company. So from PDF, they are uh, they are one of the uh, they are the top uh, PDF uh, maker, as as everybody knows it. Uh, now, from PDF maker, they transition into in the document space, and that transition with the document space, they're doing a lot more, um, and that very, very innovative products, uh, you know, um, are there right now and a lot of innovative products coming out. So, so basically, uh, you know, Fox at LC is here to dominate the document space. And, and for eSign Genie, um, you know, we always, you know, want to collaborate and the relationship started with collaboration and for the natural fit for all the documents, ultimately, like, you know, a majority of the documents need to get signed, needs mm -hmm. approval, need to get signed. And, and that's where we found a natural fit. Um, it's a it's a win win situation for both. Uh, in, with the uh, for Foxit, they solidify um, the position is in document space, productivity space, and signature space. And and for us, you know, we can grow significantly faster and and you know and utilize the technology which are already there, like you know, PDF is the backbone for any e signature company. Um, and uh, and we we are now able to use. PDF, you know, unlike uh, in 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 the in ways that most of the other companies cannot. So this actually gives us a big advantage, uh, and that's what um, you know that's what made it so appealing and attractive. And the whole whole, whole acquisition, this merger, um, really really uh, works. It just seems um, seems to fit in place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. I guess from a We'll we'll talk about uh, where this product will be going a little more later in this podcast, but I guess it's uh, already now fair to say that uh, from a customer's perspective, um, 
um, e-signing and PDF. I mean, you can look at it as one, right? And uh, the products uh, being integrated, I guess that is nothing. Somebody would be surprised to see that in the future. And uh, therefore, um, it looks like a great uh, uh, customer-oriented uh, uh, way of putting things together, right? Okay. So, yeah, uh, talking about customers, um, uh, most of the customers listening here are, or most of the listeners here are either Foxit customers or generally interested in topics like e-signing like today or PDF standards or whatever we, we cover here. Uh, we have partners here uh, listening in uh, for, for what's, what's next. Um, but I hope we also welcome uh, a whole lot of uh, new listeners out of the uh, Foxit, uh, uh, out of the Isan Genie customer base, I mean. And uh, welcome, guys, if you're here. Uh, and uh, I would like to ask you, Mahinder, um, with the acquisition and the integration of Isan Genie into Foxit, what do you think uh, does that mean for your existing Isan Genie customers? Yeah, so, um, you know, this is this is really exciting. You know, there's always, um, uh, anytime such news comes out, uh, people are nervous, right? Uh, and, yeah. and, you know, typically people are not nervous. I mean, from my perspective, first thing, you know, if, you know, if you can keep your employees happy, uh, then customers will be happy. So employees are excited about this relationship. It works. Uh, it's, 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 it's really seems to fit in place. Now, that means, you know, um, first of all, um, you know, this, this relationship, the, what we want to assure customers, as we assured in our, um, you know, email and the newsletters, and um, that we are here, um, you know, as this relationship basically adds more features, makes it more robust, makes it, uh, you know, Foxit has always been, uh, you know, productivity centric, and that and and with the experts in place, you know, we always make the solution much better from the UI perspective, from all the different uh, technology perspectives. So. A lot of innovation is coming within the product itself, which is a great news. Um, you know, at the, at the price point, you're getting the software is, is phenomenal. I mean, this is tremendous value to our customers. Mm -hmm. And you know, the you know, nothing changes in terms of like you know, in terms of soft, software and the, the way we are delivering it. Our branding will of course change, right? We, we, and the plan is to basically uh, move to Foxit E Sign, um, mm -hmm. the name, and uh, as opposed to E Sign Genie. It'll, it'll be combined name of Foxit e science so we, and uh, so the customers will actually not only get a, a very innovative and, and pretty fast um, uh, developing um, you know a much um, much more, more robust um, um, uh, software but also they will also get integrated solutions which they they did not have access to like you know, they, they want to buy a PDF they'll go to another vendor to buy a PDF um, now now other solutions which are coming and I'm going to talk about that is, is, is also like in the roadmap and other areas like, you know, there'll be really exciting solutions coming for them. Uh, people who are trying to actually um, get into uh, some intelligence, you know, artificial intelligence, you know, Foxit has some, uh, some product in place already and, and that will basically like you know, be offered as a part of the service. Obviously there'll be some, uh, some um, you know, price for those uh, different modules and integrated modules. However, what customers are getting is a solution. And we always been solution centric, but now a solution, the whole umbrella of solution, uh, they'll be able to build a business around it and um, with our workflows and, and solutions combined. Fantastic, um, sounds good. So what's more, welcome uh, Isa and uh, Genie customers uh, to Foxit. Um, and I think you can take away from this that uh, there's more to come, so this is uh, this is here to stay. It looks like a long-term and solid commitment that that we look at here, based on what Mahinder just said. And uh, talking about the rebranding, I mean, you're, you're, we're, uh, might go at one point from from Esign Genius, a product, to uh, Foxit Esign, uh, or we will see that, uh, as you just mentioned. Uh, but there's also customers uh, for Foxit Sign. So how is that related and what, what's in for those customers? What can they expect, Mahinder? Uh, so for those who don't know, so uh, just for clarification, the technology behind Fox's sign uh, is eSign Genie. Hmm. Um, so eSign Genie, uh, Fox's sign is, is essentially 
a version of eSign DB. So, uh, particularly for Fox's sign customer, it is a, a great news. It's fantastic because right now, as we were, uh, you know, offering Fox's sign, there were some we were integrating into the platform in in a way. Um, it the product had features, but they were there was subset of the feature. I mean, there were some key features which we were adding in this process. Now, with this uh, with this integration of the two businesses, um, the combined platform will be there, and customers will not. Uh, it'll be a seamless experience for them. Um, you know, they will be getting Foxit eSign product right very soon. Um, within the next uh, couple of months, uh, two, three months. And what, uh, what they'll see is, you know, significant improvement in the electronic signature piece of it. Of course, you know, PDS is pretty robust. However, there are more changes coming, uh, more good, good things are coming, right? So changes, um, these are very good changes, and excellent, excellent, uh, excellent changes, which will basically really accelerate the productivity in, uh, from the PDF solutions perspective, uh, uh, which they're already using. And plus e-signature, they're getting the best solution with the APIs, the, the integrated apps and, and so on and so forth. So there's, that's, you know, very, very exciting for them at this point. Okay, so API and, and apps and so on, that is really news to a uh, Foxit sign customer. It hasn't been there before, but now that we learned it's the same platform, we're going to roll this out to Foxit sign customers as well. Uh, so in the end, uh, whether you come from the uh, Isan Genie branch or from the Foxit Sign branch, for the future it will be the full featured uh, Foxit uh, Esign, right? So that is uh, what yeah, we're exactly. doing. Oh, great, fantastic! But then there's uh, let's say also the uh, majority of uh, our Foxit customers and Foxit listeners here, and those are uh, users of uh, Foxit PDF Editor or other Foxit products. Uh, so what's in for them? Can you tell us a little bit about that as well? Yeah, yeah. so obviously, um, you know, when uh, Foxit uh, uh, acquired eSign Genie, the idea was behind, uh, idea behind it was just not getting an e-signature company and expand in the e-signature space, right? Mm -hmm. um, they are definitely very, very innovative ideas, you know, being able to, sign a, a document, a PDF document, being able to do um, all the, that you want to do within the PDF document. Uh, PDF is, by the way, the most secure way of, of, of you know, secure and keeping the long-term document. And now you, you have the, you'll have the capability of, of signing from the, with the document and extending, uh, seeing the document basically um, status of uh, any of the documents from within uh, PDF is going to be um, a, a fantastic, like you know, it's going to be a super productivity, uh, uh, you know, feature for for those customers who actually spend a lot of time in the PDF. Right? So they really don't have to be PDF. Right? It's a great, uh, but obviously the the platform is there for them. You know, eSign uh, platform is there for their other use cases uh, uh, with the robust workflow that we have. They can you know pretty much integrate uh, with thousands of companies. Uh, that they want to use. So they have best of both worlds. You know, they can stay within PDF, enjoy, and, and, and you know, track everything from within PDF, which, which actually, you know, most people do. I mean, you, do, you work in your documents most of the time. And then, you know, on and off, you, you require something to sign. You, you go into e-signature platform and do things. Here, you'll be able to do everything but within the PDF solution. Mm. And once in a while, if you really, really need to do something different uh, with the workflow of e sign daily, you can do that. Uh, a great option for that. Okay, what you're saying is we're seeing a version of a PDF editor um, uh, in some future that will actually uh, have the uh, eSign uh, functionality uh, integrated into into the app or into the uh, into the PDF editor. That's what you're saying, right? That's correct. Yes. Cool. So then we should, um, I guess, um, uh, talk a little bit more about. Um, uh, Foxit eSign, let's say the new offering uh, uh, by Foxit now from uh, an application perspective. So uh, I'm thinking of, uh, uh, talk a little bit about uh, what the use cases are, um, uh, what it does, uh, what it, uh, and, and, and what it's good for or something like that. <laughs> uh, I mean, more like uh, about the product itself. Yeah, 
Absolutely. Also, um, if if people were not using electronic signature um, from 2020, I think things have changed drastically. So mm -hmm. there was a, um, of course, big big acceleration in the digi whole digital digitization, right? And then electronic signature leading uh, leading this uh, revolution, of course. Uh, so e-signatures and 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 th there are countries, in fact, that uh, were not looking at it. They actually have uh, made changes in the regulation to accommodate, um, you know, doing uh, for the ease of business, right? Uh, and to um, to stay competitive, to stay growing, right? Uh, so for the growth of the countries itself. So so laws that uh, so e-signature. I mean, if you see, it's just basically into every area, like, you know, from signing of the document when you, you know, when you're actually doing a business with another company, you, people get hired, they, or, or, or they actually, you know, buy a house or rent a house, anything. So it's any area, basically, you can think of, like, you know, e-signature is there. And there are certain use cases where e-signatures are not applicable even today. For example, you know, wills and trusts and, you know, divorce papers and some yeah. hazardous yeah. material, which are more like, you know, sensitive, so those areas, you know, and there are a very handful of those chosen areas where it has not been open for e-signature, um, but the majority of the areas, you know, 99% of the document or probably even larger percent of the documents you can actually e-sign today. Yeah. Sure. So uh, when you're saying it's everywhere, um, um, uh, I guess uh, the target group that we have with it is it, it's made for small and large business, same moment, right? Yeah, so our target, of course, you know, um, just my background was enterprise solutions um, mm -hmm. when I started and focus was, but my focus was also creating easy solutions. So, um, but our, you know, our solutions are basically for small, medium enterprise um, solution, all fits in all. Gives the ease of like, if you don't want to configure anything, you can just buy the software, just upload the document, get started, right? But mm -hmm. those who want additional security and additional feature compliances, they can configure our modules, uh, our software uh, as they like. And, and definitely, like, you know, we work with our, with our customers to provide them the solution, how it integrates with other solutions, how it fits in with other pieces of their business. Mm -hmm. So that's what, um, that's what from our side, like, you know, that document signing, um, basically, you know, we, we want to make it a part of every business. Yeah, I guess that is uh, that is where where it's all headed, right? Uh, for sure. Um, tell us a little bit about the uh, uh, let's say technology or principles behind uh, Fox ID Sign. So, uh, yeah, talk about the technology. Yeah. So, technology wise, like if you think about um, e signature, um, you know, the the products itself. One of the the big thing is, um, you know, when people think signature element, you know, one of the important uh, things that drives is the workflow, right? A workflow, what can you do with it? Like, you know, so workflow, how are you going to route different documents, how people will sign it and things of that nature. So our, our workflow is one of the, one of the key areas. We, and, and apart from that tracking part of the document itself, um, uh, other areas are, uh, you know, uh, tracking part of it, uh, the, the digital signature, are important uh, part of it. Um, then, then basically, like you know, other other uh, things are uh, one of the important piece, which is basically identity solutions, right? So, mm -hmm. how do you, you know, people anybody can sign the document electronically, um, and we try to make it more and more robust by providing different ways of identifying the people who they say they are. They really mm -hmm. they are uh, they, they are the same person who signing the document. So, and that is the core of the technology. But apart from that. Uh, we um, are, are, you know, because compliance is a big focus area, so we actually spend a lot of effort in compliance technologies behind it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what kind of identity uh, options do you have there? So how can one uh, prove that he is he <laughs> or she is she? <laughs> yeah, so, um, you know, the, the options are, you know, anywhere from, so the email is, is the primary uh, option in, yeah. in majority yeah. of the software. So, yeah. Beyond that, like, you know, we, we have any different ways, so for example, easy, email, contact yeah. authentication, right? Uh, it's easy to force somebody, you know, goes, goes inside the email, like, and it's, it's always a risk there. So other areas, like, in our, our 
SMS related to factor authentication, you can actually do yeah. um, download an Authy app into you when you're signing in and verify through Authy app, for example. You can have phone verification uh, through these ID. You can have knowledge based authentication where uh, people, you know, mm -hmm. your system asks you some questions and, and you know, based on uh, the data collected. Um, that's what we use the leading entity providers in the market and, and kind of come out with. And then we mix that in a solution to make sure that we're providing a very, very robust identity solution as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, uh, you also mentioned, when I interrupted you, sorry for that, but you also mentioned uh, compliance related uh, technologies. Um, um, can you talk a little bit to uh, the compliance topic? So uh, US, um, EU, uh, and so on. Yeah, so compliance is kind of a, an important uh, area, right, for, for us. Um, so EU, um, uh, you know, certain area like, you know, compliance I'll talk about, like, you know, what we excel at uh, is HIPAA has been a big focus for us, right, from the mm -hmm. privacy, um, healthcare privacy, you know, it's, it's kind of, and, and we have a large business in the healthcare. Um, you know, some other compliances like CFR 21 Part 11, which is uh, FDA compliance, which is more stringent in compliance than most, most compliances out there in the market, right? So we, we want to tackle the most important ones first or, or the most, uh, uh, you know, involved ones so that, you know, we, we stay, if you get into those compliances, we are compliant in all the other areas. Um, so, so that was the focus. Now in the Europe also we are, you know, advanced. So there are multiple levels in Europe. The EIDS actually has a little bit um, different, uh, they want, that they are three different level, basic, advanced, and, and, and qualified. Mm -hmm. uh, so advanced is what most businesses need um, to, to kind of do business there. Like in almost 95% of the businesses, they're looking for advanced solutions there. Unless you are particularly doing, um, you know, checks, um, checks with the bank or government authorities and things like that. So that part of the business requires qualified signature, but majority of the business transactions are handled through advanced. And mm -hmm. we are we are basically um, advanced uh, level certificate uh, signature company uh, for the EU compliances. Cool, cool. Sounds good. Thank you very much. Um, yeah. yeah. Now uh, I know uh, you started this whole business. You're working, as you mentioned, since 2014 on uh, on what is uh, now called Foxit eSign in the future. Um, but uh, tell us the truth. Uh, where is that product in the in the competitive landscape, let's say. Yeah, so, um, so it's, it's, it's been like, you know, um, it's been a journey like uh, from, and, you know, since 2014, I kind of started the product and um, competitive landscape, just before describing the competitive landscape, let me give you back background. The first year of the product we, we actually offered um, in a premium version to collect feedback and the entire year where we were, what people want, what is what what is on their mind. And we actually taken very meticulous feedback and incorporated everything into the software. So that's why when we actually uh, came um, at the end of 2015, when we launched the software, uh, it was hard for people to believe this is a new offering and which has pretty much packed with everything that you can think of in the large software, like, you know, the leading competitors have, or, or, and then some. So it was, it was uh, kind of uh, interesting to hear from people. So now what we have, I mean, it's since then, uh, you know, things have changed quite a bit. Like, you know, we, we got into compliances, we acquired a lot of customers. And now with Foxit, we are, we are going into new milestones. Now, what we have, we focus on the product so much. Um, and that we have, we are, you know, right now we're not natively uh, integrated with a lot of platforms. So we are, we have some some integrations like could core integration, Salesforce, SharePoint, you know, some of the integrations of that nature and Zapier. Um, but we don't have native integration with with a lot of software. But the reason is also by design because I think we want to focus on making our software robust, our mm -hmm. workflows robust, and our API so robust. Then the companies, you know, our focus has been, you know, SaaS companies who are trying to integrate with us rather than are going out and trying to find a market there. So this is where, like, you know, we are getting a, um, a ton of companies uh, who are adopting our APIs and building solution with it as a part of their workflows. And, and we, we love those SaaS companies. We provide excellent support uh, to make sure they are successful. 
Um, so, uh, so our strategy has been slightly different, of course, with the time comes as we now uh, with a bigger company and a lot, lot more resources, now we can do it all together. We don't really have to say, we can choose that this is the area that we want to focus on. We can do a lot more, um, you know, having taken a lead in the API space. Now we, we are going to take a lead in the integration space in the next year. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, that was your original plan and it's now going to be accelerated uh, where East Engineer and Foxit uh, grow together. Fantastic. Yeah, exactly. um, yeah uh, thank you very much. I think we have a pretty good overview now on uh, what to expect uh, from a customer perspective uh, now and then with uh, the terms of Foxit and e-signing. And uh, thanks for that. But uh, before we actually... Uh, move on um, uh, um, without revealing any kind of trade secrets, but uh, what can you tell us about what's coming up? So what's next? What's on the what's on the roadmap or something like that? So one thing is obvious that people can guess it. There, there's no, um, the you know, companies merge, um, the, the branding changes. So branding changes, the color changes are, are gonna happen with the, with the software yeah. in the very near future. Um, get get used to that case. orange, folks. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you got to move it aside a little bit so people can see less foxes, right? So, <laughs> yeah. so now, um, yeah. So, uh, the the interesting thing is, you know, um, with the we, even though our branding is changing, um, our personalization of the branding is very strong within um, eSign product. Yeah. So. Anybody, uh, any customer on a Foxit sign or Foxit uh, or eSign Genie uh, in the combined product uh, or combined branding um, going forward, Foxit eSign, they they get to retain everything that they have. Nothing changes for them if they they are they brand it uh, according to their identity wow. or however okay. they, they brand it. Nothing changes for them, right? Mm -hmm. That's the good news. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time, you know, uh, we we will be moving to brighter colors um, <laughs> as as we move to the brighter future, right? Uh, but apart from oh, that, right. uh, yeah, absolutely. And and then you know uh, we are uh, you know going into uh, launching the European servers now. Uh, so you know very soon you'll see um, you know European servers launched. By the time um, you probably you know, put this uh, podcast out, it's, it's going to be um, you know out uh, with with the um, uh, with the European launch. And uh, there are several large integrations in play, but first integration is with the PDF software itself. So as I talked about productivity features, right? So it'll be great uh, addition to the PDF product to have integrated version of signature. You, know, you can sign legally binding signature from within the PDF uh, and expand into all the PDF products. And then, um, you know, integration with other software, but, you know, um, Foxit provides a bunch of uh, combination of software and, and we can actually combine all the software um, to offer basically a, a really a great solution for people who can run their business on these software and workflows, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and, the, and the document and the PDF and other things uh, associated with that. Uh, so, so basically we, we're really providing, we're moving into providing full solution as a combined company, intelligence software, uh, if those who don't know, there's the intelligence software, IDOX or AI, and there are other um, um, mm -hmm. significant offerings right, in the contract space. Mm -hmm. Those will be all combined uh, and combined offering will be, you know, kind of seamless. Mm -hmm. um, and the other areas we can say like, you know, we'll be expanding into integrations, you know, native integrations, we'll, um, uh, we'll with deeper integration with, with Salesforce, with uh, Microsoft platforms, with larger platforms like Workday, ServiceNow, and 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 many many others, right? So so that's a that's a uh, in a nutshell. And as as all like you know as as it goes, you know we talked about it. Our focus has been compliances throughout, and we'll continue to like you know get deeper into compliances. We want to make sure, and uh, that's that's one area like of expansion, but. Uh, also, we're looking at in you know, different countries and different regions and, and the local compliances and how we can actually um, meet with those compliances and, and do even better than those compliances. So, so that's the focus. I mean, all in all, we have a great picture together. Fantastic. Um, 
So I like that uh, brighter color, brighter future uh, that you just uh, um, uh, started to say. So we might hear that again. I don't know. But um, uh, not that you had a lack of a bright future before, but it looks like uh, things just accelerate from now on when these two things grow together uh, as one. And I guess uh, PDF and e-signing fits together as one. Everybody knows that who is in any form of uh, paperless office. So Mahinder, uh, anything to add from your side? Um, well, well, it is exciting uh, uh, with the combined company and I'm, I'm really looking forward to, I mean, I, I, from my focus or our company focus has always been serving a customer. And uh, I, you know, I, I do see great things for our future, for our customers and you can, we'll find more and more ways to make our customers more productive. And uh, all in all, this is, is truly exciting, um, you know, news for both um, both Foxit and Design customers, and and uh, really, I'm I'm great. I'm really grateful to be a part of it. Thank you. So. Uh... When you look it up on the internet, uh, both uh, Foxit uh, products as well as Isangini products, and in the future, it's all the same, are rated very highly from a customer satisfaction standpoint uh, uh, out there. So with that, um, thanks for listening today. Thanks, Mahinder, for sharing your view on uh, how this uh, will continue and uh, what's in for our customers and partners here. Uh, if there's any more questions uh, you see our email addresses uh, uh, on the screen right now in the video, uh, write a message to Mahinder, write a message to myself. We'll definitely uh, uh, address uh, any additional question. Or if you like to have any particular topic covered uh, in the area of uh, PDF or e-signing, drop us a note. We might as well pick it up and uh, have another episode of the PDF at Work podcast presented by Foxit. Thank you very much and see you next time. All right. Thank you very much. Have a good one.